soul. Let's get a lot of positivity out there. You know, 55 after, we do it every hour. But I got a bunch of good news stories from what's happening with the coronavirus outbreak. Number, number one. Number one. An elementary school teacher in Indiana built a flexible plastic barrier around her door, kind of like a bubble boy, so she could safely give her students hugs. Now listen to this. A second grade teacher named Kelsey Pavelka built a plastic barrier in her front door with armholes so she can give students a hug when they stop to see her. Now she's not actually getting close to their, their mouths or anything, but here's the clip. It's like the arms. You know how you have the arms? You put the arms in plastic? Yeah. It's like the the plastic, your arms are in there. Like babies, for example, when they're in like the, the, the NICU. Yeah, that's right. Here is number two. Number two. A woman in New Jersey gave birth in late March when she was in a medically induced coma because of coronavirus. Now she's out of the coma. She's tested negative for the virus, and she finally got to meet her baby right before Mother's Day. Holy crap. Donna Molina got sick back in March, had an emergency C-section two months before the baby was due. Right after the surgery, doctors had to put her in an induced coma. She beat the virus. She's negative. She met her daughter for the first time for Mother's Day. Here's a clip of her getting to meet her baby. I'm so excited. Oh, my God, look at her. I was in an induced coma for 11 days. I was intubated and on a ventilator. They did an emergency C-section, and that's the last thing I remember because then after that, I was out. Her little feet, her little hands, just so amazing how some someone so small can pull through and survive. The hospital was amazing. They worked on me. They didn't give up. They took care of me in the ICU. And here we are together. The yeah. best Mother's Day ever. Holy Man. cow. Love that. Isn't that a great story? She said the last thing I remember. Yeah. And then what she remembers again is having a baby and it's there. Wow, wow, wow. All right, here we go. Another one. Number three. An anonymous donor paid rent for the month of May for a vintage record store in Tennessee. Lost and Found Records in North Knoxville found some unexpected community support Thursday when an anonymous donor paid off the store's rent for May. So they were like, wow, how about that? And so they live on. Love it. Love it. Uh, number four. Number four. Someone in Michigan took out a billboard to advertise that their favorite restaurant was still open <laughs> for carryout and delivery, and the restaurant had no idea. They just see the billboard go up. A restaurant in Detroit had been getting some extra business, and they're like, what, what's happening here? And they found out that someone put a billboard up. The only thing he gets every time he comes in, he gets his donut kebab with fries and a nice cold pop, and he's on his way. He just wanted to do something very nice for us. He's seen how hard we were working and, you know, how well we do with customers and all of our employees, and he just kind of, you know, was really nice. How crazy is that? He wanted the store to survive. He wanted the store to survive. <laughs> Give me one more. Number five. Number five. A post office in a small town in Iowa apparently found a postcard from 1987 while they were doing a deep clean because of Corona, and then they delivered it. They lost that card since 1987. Wow. Who? What a person who wrote that card? <laughs> They're old now. Dang. Uh, the guy who it was sent to still lived in town. They found him and gave him the card. What the person who wrote it? He's like, why didn't I not hear back from William? <laughs> What a jerk. I sent, I sent him a postcard from Mount Rushmore. I never heard back from him. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, some some great stories that came from the coronavirus outbreak. We're always looking for that good stuff. And here it is.